Lab school started back about six or seven years ago. We kind of got to thinking and we thought, wouldn't it be great if we had a institute during the summer where teachers could just play and experiment. And so we decided to put together this professional opportunity for teachers who can come in and look at how different kinds of technologies are impacting education and to provide kind of a laboratory of interested teachers to play around with technology and look at how they can implement it in the classroom when we come back during the school year. We want this to be more than just a conference. This is not a place to come and sort of passively sit back and hear about new ideas. We want it to be very active. We want people to be talking with each other and we want to connect the idea to the implementation. Last year, we started this new idea of forming a cohort group where you have educators who stay together as a group and learn about these different topics and it's facilitated by somebody who isn't coming in as the expert. It's not taught in that way, but it's really a group of people who have come together to study one particular thing. The cohorts, we've capped them out at about 15 people. It's intended to be a nice small group of people. Two weeks of concentrated work, meetings, keynote presentations, workshops that we offer. We had six different cohort groups ranging from all different sorts of topics. One of them, for example, was games and play, and that was really looking at how can games be used in the classroom, either computer games or game-like strategies or game theory. We also had a cohort group on interactive whiteboards, and they really were looking at all the different ways that interactive whiteboards can support learning in the classroom, both smart and Promethean brand whiteboards. We also had a very popular cohort on mobile technologies and that was primarily looking at how the iPad and other iOS devices can be used in the classroom. We looked at how project-based curricula can be enhanced by the use of different apps. We also had a cohort on media and digital ethics and that looked at all kinds of issues surrounding copyright and fair use and also issues of relational aggression or cyberbullying and we looked at the impact of social networking on students and how that relates to peer aggression. We also had another cohort on STEM topics, so science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, and that was done in coordination with Wine Electric, and they looked at issues of sustainability in the classroom. We also had another cohort on 3D visualization and fabrication, and that really looked at how you can use 3D design software to teach 3D visualization to students. Mixed in with all of the sessions, we also have a lab school social network where everyone is able to continue the conversations, not only at the end of the day, but ideally after the end of the program. As they go back to their post schools and institutions, they'll be able to communicate and discuss the issues. It's just about building a learning community of educators. What I love about this is the scope of people here is really growing and it's, it's, it's impressive. And there's just all sorts of ideas shared. The fact that this year it's two weeks, I think has made a difference because there's just this sense of relaxation and the ability to sort of spend more time sharing and people can unpack their ideas a bit more. People are so incredibly welcoming. This just has such a wonderful feeling. Pono School as an institution, I mean, we really seem to have a commitment in trying to impact the community. And I see my role as a coordinator for this program to bring educators together. I think we're learning more from the teachers coming here than we're imparting on them. We're just creating this opportunity for these conversations to happen. It's like a think tank here and it brings everyone up together. Our goal was to create a community of educators where people could support each other and we had this great event in November when educators were able to come together and meet each other again for the first time after the summer and really talk about and share stories about what they did in their classrooms and how it worked and suggestions for others. So a lot of the participants just had really wonderful things to say about, uh, about the lab school in the summer, but also the fact that what separates it from a traditional conference was that it was a chance for them really to feel like this wasn't just a one-day thing or a two-week thing. It was a, really an ongoing professional community. My cohort was the Media Ethics cohort. I created an online freshman seminar course and I built this entire course around just ideas that were generated from the cohort and it was amazing. I'm just so excited I had to come back. 
If there's anything that we're getting from people who've talked to us, who are participating, as to what they really like about this, is that they don't get a chance to just sit around with people in the field doing something similar to what they're doing and talk about some of this outside of perhaps a small group of people at their own schools. And you know, the very opinions and perspectives that come from the 35 schools who are participating in this, I mean, it's just been remarkable. So in the future, where I can see the lab school going, is we will offer larger numbers of more varied kinds of cohorts. And I think if you put all of these very bright, motivated, experienced educators in one room, you're going to find all kinds of incredible opportunities as a center for discovering knowledge, not imparting it so much as creating the opportunity for educators to generate that knowledge together. <laughs>